Imagine you're the owner of a small software development firm and you want to scale your business up. However, a small team size, the unpredictability of demand, and limited resources are roadblocks for this expansion. That's when you hear about cloud computing. But before investing money into it, you decide to draw up the differences between on-premise and cloud-based computing to make a better decision. When it comes to scalability, you pay more for an on-premise setup and get lesser options too. Once you've scaled up, it is difficult to scale down and often leads to heavy losses in terms of infrastructure and maintenance costs. Cloud computing, on the other hand, allows you to pay only for how much you use, with much easier and faster provisions for scaling up or down. Next, let's talk about server storage. On-premise systems need a lot of space for their servers, notwithstanding the power and maintenance hassles that come with them. On the other hand, cloud computing solutions are offered by cloud service providers who manage and maintain the servers, saving you both money and space. Then we have data security. On-premise systems offer less data security, thanks to a complicated combination of physical and traditional IT security measures, whereas cloud computing systems offer much better security and lets you avoid having to constantly monitor and manage security protocols. In the event that a data loss does occur, the chance for data recovery with on-premise setups are very small. In contrast, cloud computing systems have robust disaster recovery measures in place to ensure faster and easier data recovery. Finally, we have maintenance. On-premises systems also require additional teams for hardware and software maintenance, loading up the costs by a considerable degree. Cloud computing systems, on the other hand, are maintained by the cloud service providers, reducing your costs and resource allocation substantially. So now, thinking that cloud computing is a better option, you decide to take a closer look at what exactly cloud computing is. Cloud computing refers to the delivery of on-demand computing services over the internet on a pay-as-you-go basis. In simpler words, rather than managing files and services on a local storage device, you'll be doing the same over the internet in a cost-efficient manner. Cloud computing has two types of models, deployment model and service model. There are three types of deployment models, public, private, and hybrid cloud. Imagine you're traveling to work. You've got three options to choose from. One, you have buses, which represent public clouds. In this case, the cloud infrastructure is available to the public over the internet. These are owned by cloud service providers. Two, then you have the option of using your own car. This represents the private cloud. With the private cloud, the cloud infrastructure is exclusively operated by a single organization. This can be managed by the organization or a third party. And finally, you have the option to hail a cab. This represents the hybrid cloud. A hybrid cloud is a combination of the functionalities of both public and private clouds. Next, let's have a look at the service models. There are three major service models available, EaaS, PaaS, and SaaS. Compared to on-premise models, where you'll need to manage and maintain every component, including applications data, virtualization, and middleware, cloud computing service models are hassle-free. IaaS refers to infrastructure as a service. It is a cloud service model where users get access to basic computing infrastructure. They are commonly used by IT administrators. If your organization requires resources like storage or virtual machines, IaaS is the model for you. You'll only have to manage the data, runtime, middleware, applications, and the OS, while the rest is handled by the cloud providers. Next, we have PaaS. PaaS, or Platform as a Service, provides cloud platforms and runtime environments for developing, testing, and managing applications. This service model enables users to deploy applications without the need to acquire, manage, and maintain the related architecture. If your organization is in need of a platform for creating software applications, PaaS is the model for you. PaaS only requires you to handle the applications and the data. The rest of the components like runtime, middleware, operating systems, servers, storage, and others are handled by the cloud service providers. And finally, we have SaaS. SaaS or Software as a Service involves cloud services for hosting and managing your software applications. Software and hardware requirements are satisfied by the vendors, so you don't have to manage any of those aspects of the solution. If you'd rather not worry about the hassles of owning any IT equipment, the SaaS model would be the one to go with. 
With SaaS, the cloud service provider handles all components of the solution required by the organization. Time for a quiz now. In which of the following deployment models are you, as the business, responsible for the application, data, and operating system? 1. IaaS 2. PaaS 3. SaaS 4. IaaS and PaaS Let us know your answer in the comments section below for a chance to win an Amazon voucher. Coming back to cloud computing, some of the most popular cloud computing services in the market are AWS or Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. Want to learn more about them and how they differ from each other? Click on the top right corner for an analysis of how these service platforms are different from each other. And on that note, we have come to the end of this video. We hope you found this informative and helpful. If you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update on the latest trending technologies.